According to a Stanford professor who has delved into the topic of unidentified objects for the US government, he is convinced that not only have advanced beings visited the Earth before, but they may still be here after having stayed for quite some time. According to Dr. Gary Nolan, whistleblowers with experience in reverse engineering downed aircraft have recently given confidential testimony to Congress. This has resulted in a major controversy in Washington. During a recent presentation entitled The Pentagon Extraterrestrial Intelligence and Crashed UFOs at a conference in New York, Dr. Nolan, a renowned pathology professor from Stanford University School of Medicine with 40 United States patents and over 300 published research articles, made surprising remarks about these mysterious findings. The distinguished expert is among the most skilled and experienced scientists in the public domain who investigate the phenomenon, including examining the brains of individuals who claim to have encountered a mysterious aircraft. In the session, Alex Clocus, who serves as the moderator and is also the founder and managing partner of Salt Fund, posed a question to Dr. Nolan, which was focused on whether he subscribes to the belief that intelligent life from outside our planet has paid a visit to Earth. According to Dr. Nolan, the presence of the thing being discussed is not just a recent visit, but a long-term stay, indicating that it is still present. According to Dr. Nolan, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, consisting of 25 individuals, has been assigned the responsibility of gathering data from various United States Department of Defense and Intelligence offices and consolidating it into a standard format for the first time. The purpose of doing so is to present the information to Congress. He said that a group of 12 United States Senators have expressed their interest in obtaining the information, while maintaining a knowledgeable and neutral tone, appropriate for a general audience seeking to be informed. A whistleblower program is being proposed to allow insiders of reverse engineering programs to come forward and provide information to Congress. This program involves divulging previously classified information and disclosing relevant details in secured forums. The topic of disclosure, or the official acknowledgement and release of information regarding unidentified objects, has been a subject of speculation and debate for decades. While many individuals and organizations have called for greater transparency and disclosure from governments around the world, the timing and likelihood of such an event remain uncertain. The interest in disclosure stems from the persistent reports of unidentified aerial phenomena and the belief that governments possess classified information regarding these encounters. Proponents argue that disclosure is necessary to shed light on the truth behind sightings and to advance our understanding of potential extraterrestrial visitation or advanced human-made technologies. The question of when disclosure will happen is a complex one, as it depends on various factors, including political, social and scientific dynamics. While it is impossible to predict an exact timeline, several key considerations can be explored. Firstly, political and governmental contexts play a significant role in disclosure. Governments face numerous challenges when deciding whether to disclose classified information. National security concerns, potential technological advantages, and public perceptions are factors that influence the decision-making process. It is conceivable that a shift in political attitudes, public pressure, or internal government assessments could lead to a greater willingness to disclose information about encounters. Secondly, advancements in scientific understanding and technology may impact the likelihood and timing of disclosure. Scientific research, including the study of atmospheric phenomena, celestial objects, and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, continues to evolve. Breakthrough discoveries or significant scientific consensus on the existence of extraterrestrial life or advanced technological phenomena may provide the impetus for disclosure. Thirdly, societal attitudes and public demand for transparency can influence the discourse surrounding disclosure. As public interest and engagement in the topic increase, governments may face growing pressure to address the subject openly and honestly. The emergence of citizen-led initiatives grassroots movements, and the power of social media can amplify public voices and foster discussions about the need for transparency. It is worth noting that incremental steps toward disclosure have already been taken in recent years. Governments have declassified and released previously classified documents related to mysterious sightings, albeit often with redactions. In the United States, for example, 
the declassification of the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, and the release of videos documenting encounters with unidentified aerial phenomena have sparked public intrigue and renewed calls for further disclosure. The establishment of official channels for reporting and investigating encounters, such as the United States government's task force, indicates a growing acknowledgement of the importance of studying these phenomena. The increasing involvement of scientific and military communities in researching and analyzing unidentified aerial phenomena suggests a shifting paradigm that may contribute to future disclosure efforts. However, it is important to approach the topic of disclosure with realism and critical thinking. The release of information regarding encounters may not necessarily provide definitive proof of extraterrestrial life or advanced technologies. It is essential to separate speculation and theories from verifiable evidence and to rely on rigorous scientific investigation. As of right now, the timing of disclosure remains uncertain and the factors influencing its likelihood are complex and multifaceted. Political, scientific and societal dynamics all play a role in shaping the decision-making process regarding the release of classified information related to encounters. While incremental steps have been taken toward disclosure in recent years, the ultimate timing and extent of disclosure depend on a range of factors that may evolve and shift over time. As our understanding of the universe advances and public engagement continues to grow, the possibility of greater transparency and disclosure regarding encounters remains a topic of ongoing interest and speculation. So, what do you make of these recent announcements, and when do you think disclosure will happen? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.